Hi everyone, I'm Laura and welcome to Renew, Reuse, Restore. In a few minutes I'm going to show you how I restored a plant stand and just as that needs restoration, we also need restoration and renewal every day. And there's so many things each day that fill our mind uh, with just a bunch of junk. We have social media now, we have the news, we have other people telling us things, we have our thoughts um, that enter our mind telling us things that aren't true. And so I'd always turn to the Holy Bible to renew my mind. In Romans 12, 2, it says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. <clears throat> so we don't need what the world says that we need. We don't need to fill our mind with social media. We don't need the drugs and the alcohol. All those things are just band-aids uh, to cover up what's really going on in our soul. We need to look into God's word to find out what his will is. And that is what is gonna help renew our mind every day. My daughter found this beautiful solid wood stand for me and it's time to sand it down and prepare for paint. I started with an 80 grit sandpaper on the top because that part's going to be wood and then uh, gradually got to a finer sandpaper. The bottom I used a 120 grit sandpaper because that part's going to be paint. Now it's time to wipe everything down with some warm soapy water. I decided to use spray paint as a primer so there wouldn't be any bleed through from the old varnish. You could also use shellac. There were lots of cracks from this piece being so old, so I'm going to fill with wood putty. So I'm starting right now with uh, 80 grit sandpaper. I'm gonna take around these edges. I'm trying to get this down to the natural wood. I've already prepped this with some spray paint. I'm gonna paint it white and then do a glazing technique over it. Where the orbital sander did not get, I'm taking 80 grit sandpaper. And I'm just gonna do a final sand on the top to make sure all of the stain and varnish is gone. And then I will top with a gel stain. So what I've done is I've put the walnut stain on with a rag and just rubbed it in and took off any excess that there was on there. So I'm a big believer in using up what you have. So I have white paint here and I'm going to use my round brush and get started.
first coat has dried, and now it's time for the second coat. Actually, before I do the second coat, I think I'm gonna sand it. I feel that there's kind of some bumpies. the 400 grit and sandpaper to smooth out. All right, so now we're gonna put a uh, glazing on the top of the white. This is Rust-Oleum Ebony Stain. And what's great to use is these little leftover uh, stirring, I use them as stirring sticks, but they're from the bottom of these foam brushes. And uh, so when I throw out the foam brush, I usually say this, <clears throat> feeling a little bit under the weather today, so. I'm going to get this on as quickly as possible. Now I'm just going to use this clean t-shirt to wipe back the glaze. Just taking some of that black stain with my brush and lightly going around the edges and I'm going to then take the rag that I used that had the stain on and just lightly rub that across the top. I want it to make, a, make the um, top look a little bit more aged to match the bottom. This is what the top looked like after I've rubbed the rag over it. For the final coat that I'm gonna put on the top, polyacrylic, and this is the clear satin.
after the first coat of polyacrylic is dry, I come back and sand with 400 grit sandpaper and then wipe down all the dust to prepare for a second coat of polyacrylic. And here is the before and the after. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.